Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Ego 56 volt batteries you can get for the outdoor power equipment. Uh, but more specifically, we're talking about this generic one you can find on Amazon and how it compares to the actual genuine Ego batteries, okay? So the Ego battery, this is the third generation, current one's out right now, has a full active fuel gauge there now with five bars. Uh, the older version, you just had the green button in the middle, you would push it and it would light up green if it was good and red if it was below 15% charge, which kind of sucked a little bit. I mean, it's like, come on, fuel gauge, right? It's got tons of vents through it. Um, you got the, each, each of the cells have its own cooling membrane wrapped around it. So they got a lot of tech in this battery. Some people ask me, even ask me, well, how do you store it if you have to store it over winter and you don't use it for like four months or something like that. And I said, well, after like, crap, I always forget what it is. I think it's like 60 days, it drops itself down to a 30% storage charge, okay? Um, and then all you gotta do to wake it up is just drop it on the charger, it charges it back up, and there you are ready to go. So lots of lots of cool things in the Ego battery. Now the black also is rubberized, all of the black, not just the, the black on, on the front, okay? All, all of this is actually a rubberized coating, which makes it just more durable, okay? It's not just a plastic sheet. And, you know, and then where the button is, even on the old one, uh, was very weather resistant feeling. Okay, these are supposed to be weather resistant batteries. The old one, you know, had more of a plastic bubble shell. This one here is indent a little bit more, but it feels very, this button and everything like that seems very solid, very good quality. The, the fit and finish is just solid on this one. These generic ones, and the company, I don't know how to pronounce the name exactly, there it is up on the screen, uh, all over in Amazon. Um, they have decent reviews. They have some reviews saying that people said, hey, it didn't work, it sucked, never had the power. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's go with the differences real quick, okay? Uh, now you are saving $70. This is $70 less than the Ego brand of the same size, okay? So right there, that's what you're gonna save. Uh, the little, the fuel gauge there, you know, you got the little dotted lines, it's not terrible, but it does feel really cheap right here. It, it feels like this is just a plastic sticker on the end and that it, it and it almost, it has a couple little bubbles in it. So honestly, right when I got it out of the box, I'm like, first thought was, I hope that doesn't peel off, you know, a year down the road. You know, just be hanging there open, you know, and stuff like that. It definitely doesn't feel like it's, it's weather resistant here at the end. I feel like if it gets wet, it's definitely gonna peel off. And I don't know, maybe it won't. I'm just saying what it feels like. That feels really, really cheap, okay? And I didn't care that it was all black. And I kind of had a feeling it wouldn't be rubberized and it's, there's, there's no rubber on it. It's just all plastic, okay? So there's no, uh, you know, drop cushion, you know, if this falls or hits anything like that. It's just all plastic shell, okay? It, it does have, you know, just as many vents as the original one does. Does it have the proper cooling membranes around all the cells? Don't 100% know. It's really kind of hard to tell by looking through it. It kind of looks like maybe, but maybe not. So it does supposed to have a lot of the same safety features that the Ego battery has. So if there's too much voltage being pulled, it's overheating this and that, it's gonna shut the battery down to protect itself. It's supposed to have that built in. Okay, now, my initial thoughts. I got the thing and it was charged, it had showed all five lights on when I got it, which is rare because I generally buy a battery, it's generally pretty low, you know, like around the 30% mark. It's when my Ego batteries come, come with two bars out of the five lit up. So I throw it on the charger first thing, I buy other equipment like that, it's generally, you know, pretty low. This showed five bars, so I'm like, huh. Well, so I ran it on a leaf blower on a real low setting, not on the turbo, just to, you know, play around the, the yard to see how it worked. I did hit turbo a few times, um, and, and it sounded good. You know, sometimes when you got an old battery, and you're thinking, oh, it's losing a couple cells, and you try to hit the turbo on the leaf blower, and you can hear it, it's not, it's not all there. Not all the juice is, is there, okay? This, I didn't hear any issues like that. Some people in the comments did mention, hey, I put it on my leaf blower, and it's not as strong as Eagle brand. I didn't have that problem, okay? But other people have mentioned that in the comments. Uh, now here's a problem I had, okay? I did have a problem with this. So this battery is going back to Amazon. So I, uh, like I said, I, I would run on the leaf blower. I, I, I hit turbo a couple times, but I basically ran it on a low setting to drop the battery down to a low setting, okay? I wanted it to drop down so I could give it a good solid charge. So I put it on the charger. It charged for like an hour, 20 minutes, which is actually typically longer. I generally charge the Eagle brand battery, if I drop it all the way down to 5.0, it normally takes an hour. So this was on there for an hour 20, I timed it. Um, don't know why it took a little longer, it did. I wasn't worried about that. You know, wasn't worried about 20 more minutes. Didn't really bother me. Uh, I thought, hey, this might be a really strong battery. Put it on, on the, the lawnmower, my daughter to mow this week. 
Um, so it's, my, it's the first full run from a full solid charge, you know, previous day even, you know, so the battery time to cool. I did everything like really just, just chill on it so the battery could have this best performance, you know, for the first test. Didn't even get half the front yard mode shut down. You know, my, my daughter thought it had, had lost power. She goes, that's a bad battery, Dad. Come on, check this out. Look at this. Brought me around because I was working in the back. You know, she got half the, half the front yard done. I do not, I have a standard like, you know, a little bit better than a quarter acre lot on, on my house. And the front yard's the small side. And it was also, no, it wasn't overgrown. Here's, here's the next thing. Um, so the battery, um, you can see, and th this was yesterday it happened, still, still showing four bars. I did not put this back on the charger. Still showing four bars, so it didn't, it didn't like drop the charge all the way down to zero, but some kind of setting into the battery kicked in. You know, some of you might be thinking, well, was your grass super thick? Because the mower can do that. Yes, it can. If the grass is super thick and it's, it's locking up that, that motor, it will shut down. You know, it's running like, a, uh, like an over voltage, you know, trying to pull too much from the battery to shut down. I have run into that plenty, you know, plenty of times where the grass is way overgrown, maybe even wet, and the, and the mower's bogging down real bad. And then you gotta like, sometimes you gotta pop the battery out and put it back in to reset it, sometimes even. No. We mowed the yard last week, you know. It was ready to be mowed, but it wasn't overgrown at all, and it wasn't wet. It was perfect weather. So right now, the only thing I can think is that, because when we put it back in and tried it again, and it shut down, so the only thing I can think of is, is like the over voltage, you know, you know, system safety that's built in the battery is, is defective, or something like that, and it keeps kicking in. Because uh, like I said, no way. Put, the, uh, put this battery into the mower. The backyard had even missed last week, okay, because we ran out of time, and it was overgrown. Mower didn't stop, not for a lick for her. Not with the Eagle brand battery. This guy stopped twice on the front yard where it was short. So I hope this video helps all of you all make an educated choice on the next time you got a battery for your power tool. I like to try to save money with some of the generic batteries, but because I, I hate just shelling out that much money for a battery, I do. I think everyone does. It's like buying printer ink, right? But a lot of times you get what you pay for. Sometimes you can find that, you know, some things are just overpriced, but you know, this one, you know, is, is no go. It's going back to Amazon. Um, so I hope that maybe I can help some of y'all steer head this out. Now, some of you all got one and you had great luck with this brand and you're like, hey, I save the money and it's working just as good. Honestly, I'm happy for you. I'm honestly happy for you. But I got a feeling that these batteries, there are some good ones out there of this, this brand even, but they just have a high failure rate, you know? So of course, if the company wants to send me a few different sizes of these for the Ego, I'd be happy to test them out for them, you know, see if I have better luck there, but I'm not spending any more of my own money on it. Uh, you know, I've had problems with generic batteries in the past and here we go again. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great one. Please subscribe to the channel, check out our website, and there's another video for you to check out as well. See you later.